the egg has become part of your shirt now. Yeah, guys. I don't. I don't even think you can don't get judge it out. Me. Actually. Yo, thank you everybody for clicking on that video. But first, before we get into it, I gotta tell you about this brand new YouTube channel called Gold Thread that's all about explaining Chinese culture in a cool way. Gold Thread is a publication based out of Hong Kong that is covering Chinese youth culture, internet culture, slang, language, and travel, and food, and all this other cool stuff. It's interesting information that is catering towards people like us, me and you. Here's a quick clip from a Gold Thread video talking about how they make baijiu in a Chinese factory. Yes, the Chinese liquor. You know how Japanese have sake, Koreans have soju, and Chinese we have baiju. Baiju is a distilled alcohol that is always made with greens. Now the types of greens that are used vary across the country. At this factory, they use five greens. Rice, sorghum, corn, millet, and glutinous rice. If you found that little clip interesting, definitely check out Gold Thread, subscribe to their channel. If you guys are interested in more material like that, check out the link down below for Gold Thread. It is a new YouTube channel. They're uploading a bunch more content. Check it out. But for now, enjoy this Fung Bros video. It's raining. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a Brooklyn episode of Fung Bros Food. As you guys know, there are Chinatowns in every single city across the world, and New York is no different. In New York alone, there are already three main Chinatowns. There's Manhattan, there's Flushing, and Brooklyn. And we're here today to do a $10 food crawl down 8th Avenue. With me on my left side, I got Brooklyn native Jack. What's up, guys? I grew up out here. It's good to be back. And then I got Cindy. Hey guys, today we're gonna hit up a lot of classic places I've been going to all my life, and I'm so excited to show you guys. So our first stop, we're on 64th and 8th Ave, and we're at the Feilong Supermarket. So we're going to the biggest food court out here. This is a Brooklyn Chinatown food crawl, all under 10 bucks. Let's, Let's go. go. Chinese people love discussing how to pick fruit. Yeah. Like, I think it's like an overall Asian thing. So. <laughs> I actually don't know, I just watched oh, no, him I just do pretend, it. I pretend I, I know pretend what I'm I, doing. Yeah. You just go up, you just gotta slap a few yeah. watermelons before you just... Uh. So here, we got chashu spare ribs, we got the fontuan, that's a rice roll, and then you got shalom bao, you got chicken wings here. And you got a Cheng Yao guy. Oh, look at that. Sky and I'm gonna just eat it. No, that's pretty good. Yeah. No, that is really good. This is particularly, you will find this at Taiwanese breakfast spots. So, not even every Taiwanese restaurant would serve this. Would you guys say it has like. It has I, pork floss. Yeah. Yeah, it has the yok sung, mm -hmm. it has the yao tiu, and then it has sticky rice. Wow. I'm, I'm gonna go in on the shalom bao real quick. Oh my gosh. All right, this looks really good. Mm. That spot is good. That spot. It didn't seem like they would. They were taking orders a la carte. It was just more like big orders. Right. Like, so it would be something you would bring home to like your family. I think it's cool to be here because this is such a social place for the community. And obviously, it's not the most lit, swaggiest spot ever. But you know, as you can see, like this is a hub. But now we're gonna go walk down Eighth Ave to a bunch of other spots. Let's go. So we're going to see Fa Bakery and basically it's probably the most poppin' bakery on 8th Ave. They are famous for their egg tarts which they roll out every 30 minutes fresh and they're always so good. My mom told me about it. She brought it home. I was like, this can't be that good. It's really good. It'd be for real. I think it's probably one of the best in, in New York. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Those are nice and big. So you might have to blow on it. Oh. Whoa. Yo, that is really good. Oh my gosh. It's really hot. I always like to choose the one that's more burnt mm. on top. It gives a little bit more smoky yeah. like flavor. I'm sweating, but it's like all worth it. Give an ABG some Don Tots. It goes crazy. There's a really strong butter taste. Mm. 
I feel like in a lot of other ones, you don't get that buttery flakiness, or at least you don't get that flavor. And the filling is actually like so heavy. If I'm not holding it, it looks it like it's about right? to collapse. They make lard for the crust. They use lard for the crust. Yo, yeah. lard is hitting right now. The egg has become part of your shirt now. Just so you know, for the rest of the video, that's where it's from. It was a casualty. She just wanted to let the people know how good they were. That's why. <laughs> Take it. Take it. We walked a little bit. I'm sweating like crazy after eating the delicious tata from Shin Fa. But we're outside of one of the more like younger popping spots, Chai Ken. Uh, they, got, they got Tony's fried chicken with boba. Super fitting for this weather right now. We got that... two for five watermelon. Yeah. I'm probably getting two for myself. Let's <laughs> get some of those. So, Jack, you have your own bottle? I made my own bottle. Yeah. He took a mold of it, just like Kim K. So uh -huh. narcissistic of you. <laughs> <laughs> so they have this bottle here where it's like, this guy with a six pack and it's just like real buff. Like, Bruh. why why would they make this? Maybe to trick the kids that they're gonna look like this. Yeah. Okay. If they drink for the games. Yo, that is really sweet. I'm not gonna lie, if you drink a bunch of these, I don't think you get in a body like I'm this. <laughs> we got some snacks here, yeah. we got some squid, we got the classic popcorn chicken. Let's just go in. Let me try it. Tastes like French fries almost. Yeah. Popcorn chicken is pretty good. First time I had popcorn chicken, I was mind blown. The first time I had a really good version was in college, actually on campus. And uh, when I ate it, I ate that for like a week straight. Oh, really? And then I got really sick of it. <laughs> but I was just like, yo, I never had this before. They try to do some things with this drink. Ooh. Okay, see, it's sweet at the bottom, sour at the top. Gotta mix it up. What, do you think? What, what, what flavor is it? It's like a sweet blueberry lemonade tea. Chai Ken. I was trying to get it popping out here on ATAP, yeah. so. You, would you say you see some uh, Brooklyn ABGs? Maybe aspiring ABGs. Aspiring. Young ABGs in the making. Where would the actual ABGs be? The handball court. <laughs> Where? The That's like a very New York it's thing. Very, very New York. York. Basically, all the guys are at the parks playing handball. Yeah. And when you're a young girl, you're there. And you're cool. Yeah, and I feel you like. You go the, watch the guys. Yeah. And then to be honest, if you are trying to be around girls, I always see more girls at the handball courts playing handball rather than basketball. This spot, really nice. Obviously only $5 for the chicken, $5 for the squid. This next spot is way below $10. Ooh. About to get some dollar dumplings. dumplings. This is one of my favorite Yeah. Spots. Let's go. In here? This is it. This is your favorite spot. Favorite dumplings in New York City. Obviously on the outside, you're looking at it, it does not look like a spot that I would really frequent. Yeah. But you said it's super cheap and super good. Super cheap, super good. I've probably been coming here for like 15 years now. Let's go get it. Kai Fung. I thought the sign said no dumpling. So I had dumplings on my mind, and then I saw the sign that said no dumpling. How can there not be any dumplings? <laughs> and it's obviously no dumpling. Dumping and dumpling look very similar. We got a whole bunch of dumplings for $12. Because it was eight dumplings for $3. Let's hope it lives up to hype. <laughs> hope it lives up to your hype. Yeah, best dumplings <laughs> in New York City. Best dumplings in New York. I go. It is good. Not bad. All right, guys, this is based off of the Shanghainese Shenzhen Bao. They cook it on the side or in the corner of the pan. So as you can see, multiple sides of it gets grilled. I am in love with it. This is so good. It's yeah. a good one, huh? It tastes like a pillow. <laughs> and we all know how pillows taste. They're delicious. I can see you just turn over. And just... Chicken? I'm going in. I don't care. I know why you like this spot. I get Ooh, it. This oh, chicken dumpling is solid. Yeah. But chicken is really juicy. And usually you wouldn't say chicken dumplings are your favorite. Most spots don't have good chicken dumplings. A lot of time chicken dumplings, they don't have enough flavor. Mm. And you can't taste the other ingredients, but I feel like for here, the cabbage and the mushrooms really shine. Yeah. I, I know why I, I know why you right. like this spot. Feel me. I know, I know. This might be the best chicken dumpling I ever ate. But we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna finish up the Brooklyn Chinatown crawl down 8th Ave. <laughs> All right, so we have gone about a mile from where we were just at, nearing the end of Chinatown. 
But yo, Jack, what can you tell us yeah. about this part? More Hispanics live here. The customers, it starts to diversify as you leave Chinatown. Well, we're outside of a super highly rated bun mi shop. I want to say it does really well on Yelp, and I don't know if it's because it's more hipster maybe. Let's go get some bun mi's. Here's what we got here. We have the jackfruit smoothie, fresh jackfruit, the jack. Fresh durian in the durian smoothie for the stinky girls. It will be after this. This is a salty plum and brine. And most people don't think of a salty drink as refreshing, but I, I thought we walked into just a regular Viet spot. This is, this is on some next level. This is the sardine bun mi. Let's go in. That's juicy. You don't want to get this on your shirt, all right? Not like earlier, you got the Don Tot juice, it's different. Definitely a little bit salty, um, a little bit bitter, but I actually like it. But I, I think what I like about it is the baguette. Mm. It's really good. It's probably what makes the sandwich so good. And then we have the classic, number one, you got the pate, ham, barbecue pork, combo meat. This is a really good, really good. This is really good. This is a good so we're about to go hit Fifth Ave to a spot called New Victory, which is a Chino Latino spot. Let's go. Cheers. Shout out to everybody, all the subscribers everybody from everybody watching. Up. Follow them, subscribe, like, hit the notification. Yep, you know where to come from, Sunset Park, Brooklyn. All right, Sunset down every Park, Brooklyn. So we are here at our last spot, New Victory in Sunset Park. It's a mixture of Chinese food with Spanish food. Let's find out if these Chinese people are from a Spanish country. That's very possible. Cheers to the Chino Latinos in Brooklyn. Wow, this is a egg The egg foo young with yellow rice and plantains. Egg foo young is like one of those Chinese dishes that you get at the buffet. It's one of those things that you get at like the Chinese to-go spots. You know what it is? Yo, the egg foo young. Tastes like something that your parents will make at home. It's like a chicken omelet. Yeah, I feel like something that they would just whip up. Yeah. Very homemade. The flavoring is similar to Cantonese food, and that's why it fits together. That's true. It's a, the plantains, kind of sweet. Yellow rice, obviously, it's rice. You have egg foo young. You got the pork chop. You got pork chop, plantains, fried rice. Let's get it. Mmm. Well, can't go wrong with this fried rice. Got some beans too. The food is like really savory. So yeah. You gotta eat it with the plantain and the sauce. Oh man, all right, so that was a crazy crawl. Thanks for watching that. Shout out to Sins, shout out to Jack. Uh, leave in the comments below what other spots we should hit up in Brooklyn, Chinatown, or around New York City. I'm sure we missed some spots. And like I said, Brooklyn, do not underrate that Chinatown. It is humongous. Definitely check it out if you ever come to Brooklyn. And until next time, everybody, we out. Peace. If you guys like the content here on our channel, Fung Bros, definitely check out Gold Thread because they even have more content pertaining to specifically Chinese culture in China. They dive deep. Anyways, guys, check out Gold Thread down below. It's a new YouTube channel. They are uploading a whole bunch of new content all the time, so definitely check them out. They're our friends out in Hong Kong. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.